A nice change in the weather pattern for your Wednesday, my friends. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca with your need to know weather. Temperatures will still be on the hot side today, but it will feel less humid. You're already feeling that as you step outside the door. It is noticeable this morning. Expect temperature readings to return in the low 100s, low 90s down along the coastline. Bay City today, high of 104. With the lowering of the humidity, we have increased the fire danger across much of southeast Texas. A fire weather warning goes in effect beginning at 10 o'clock this morning through 8 p.m. In addition to our fire hazards, also dealing with unhealthy levels of ozone pollution as we get into the afternoon. So we've got three counties under an ozone pollution watch. Heading into the weekend, we do have some signs of some changes with some wet weather on the way, but the heaviest of the rain that we'll see over the next uh, 24 hours will be along the East Coast. We've got Idalia, a category four hurricane that is beginning to bear down along the big bend of Florida. You can see the center of circulation not too far from Cedar Key, about 60 miles east as of this recording. Maximum sustained winds of 130 miles per hour should make landfall sometime this morning and then continuing to push inland as we get into the afternoon hours should be over Jacksonville as a category two hurricane and then eventually shift offshore across the mid-Atlantic as we get into Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. Around here this weekend, as I mentioned, some changes, a 20 to 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Meanwhile, temperature readings should start off the new week somewhere in the mid to upper 90s. All right, that's a look at your forecast on this Wednesday. Thanks for watching.